Right, here is the latest and as I was just talking, our system just updated as well too. Uh, here's the latest on Harvey. 80 mile per hour winds uh, category one hurricane as of right now. Now here's the track with the National Hurricane Center. It brings it just to the northeast of Corpus Christi. As of right now, they think it'll be a category three landfall at 115 mile per hour winds. But I got to tell you again, water is super warm. It has a really, really favorable environment that this might be conservative here uh, as far as uh, strength as Harvey makes landfall. And that's just half the story as far as the wind strength, the strength of Harvey. It is packing a ton of moisture. Harvey's going to bring anywhere from 10 to 20 inches of rain across a good swath of Texas from, say, Corpus Christi all the way over towards Houston. This is an area that cannot handle that much water. Harvey is going to be a big deal as we head into tomorrow night. Storm 4 Max radar across southeastern Wisconsin back home. We have some scattered showers. You can see these showers uh, mainly over Lake Michigan, and you can see they're drifting very, very slowly, kind of noticing a diminishing trend over the last hour, and maybe a couple light showers still clip racine in Kenosha. I think here in Milwaukee and northwest, we are done with the rainfall. But if you are headed out on Lake Michigan, again, be aware that there is a chance of a stray shower still over Lake Michigan with a temperature of 68 degrees. And as we mentioned earlier, we've really been keeping an eye on these sky cams over Lake Michigan because there was a favorable environment a couple hours ago for possibly some water spouts to, de to develop. I think that threat is starting to diminish. There actually was a water spout south of the border down towards Winthrop Harbor. Uh, 66 degrees, the current temperature in Racine now as we look over Lake Michigan. Northeast wind at 10 miles per hour. Currently in Milwaukee, 67 degrees. Now, this is about as warm as we're going to get today. Maybe a degree or two warmer. That's about it. Uh, here's a look at your temperatures across southeastern Wisconsin. Everybody in the 60s. It is a cool August day. Dew points ranging from the 40s to the 50s. Your weather headlines, a stray shower, cool August temperatures, and this weekend, Got some changes on the way this weekend. Future forecast as we head into the afternoon, skies clear out overnight tonight. We're looking at mainly clear to partly cloudy skies starting the day with lots of sunshine on Friday. In fact, 3:30 in the afternoon, still looking sunny. Look what's uh, developing to the west here. Uh, our weekend as far as being dry is starting to kind of change a little bit as of right now, keeping Saturday dry. However, that rain starting to get a little closer to us. So what was once a slam dunk for a dry weekend? Maybe not so much. All right, a stray shower along Lake Michigan and south of Milwaukee possible still this afternoon, then partly cloudy and cool with a temperature of 68 degrees for tonight. A low temperature of 56 inland 45. Another chilly night tonight. And here's your seven day. All right, this, this weekend as of right now, Friday looks good. 72 Saturday as of right now, keeping it dry, partly cloudy, but some computer models are starting to get that rain pretty close to us on Saturday. Sunday, pretty good chance for showers and storms on Sunday for Monday. Chance of showers and storm 75 Tuesday 74 degrees with a chance of showers and Wednesday partly cloudy with a high temperature of 77 degrees. So you may be thinking what happened to this stretch of dry weather? It's kind of closing up here. Potentially some storms this weekend. <clears throat> Back well, to you guys. I mean, we need the rain, <laughs> but really you couldn't schedule that any better. <laughs> Can we do it maybe <laughs> next Tuesday or okay, something? Yeah, right? how about that? Thanks, Brian. <laughs>